from the parents and even the grandparents. The whole family has lacrosse in their blood. I mean, I'm talking about the whole family. They all probably had sticks in their hands when they were like three or four years old. Lacrosse has been important in our family for, for a little while. It seemed like the first thing that I, I remember doing. I think I, I was playing playing right out of the womb. I think it all started with my grandfather. He was the athletic director at Rutgers Prep for 45 years, and he brought lacrosse into Rutgers Prep. He used sports in general as a platform to teach and influence people. Combining his love of sports and my dad's passion for lacrosse, that, that kind of just solidified what we were going to be doing for the <laughs> first third of our life. When Ryan knew he was an offensive player, he made sure Reeves had a long pole and made sure Christian got in the goal. We were putting a goal in the backyard and uh, we were pouring concrete for the goal and uh, Ryan rode in there, Ryan Clipsline Division I lacrosse player. I wanted to play Division I lacrosse, that was just, that was important to me. And I was not getting any Division I offers or interest at all. All three of my sons would probably say they didn't ever feel like the strongest athletes, but they did feel like the strongest workers. Ryan is a very intense guy when he starts doing what he loves. So like he's kind of started the whole thing because when you're the first in the family, you do not know what it's going to take to have to get to the Patriot League or get to play at Bucknell. So he was always working and always just striving to be the best. It was March of my senior year and I uh, got a call from Coach Federaca at Bucknell. He wanted me to come there, so I was, uh, I was really fortunate that Coach Fed took a chance. He definitely took a chance on me. He wasn't the fastest recruit we had that year, but he had the highest lacrosse IQ, the most skills, and certainly had the most passion for lacrosse. I think Ryan set the tone for all of them, and I think he just set a very high expectation of just how to handle himself, the way he, he talks and the way he did about everything, and I think the other two boys just sort of followed in his footsteps. Reeves and I, just watching Ryan and coming to Bucknell all the time, I mean, I immediately fell in love with it, and Reeves loved Bucknell, but Reese always was just thinking about Army. My dad uh, instilled a great sense of uh, patriotism within us. And when I first came to watch Ryan play Army here at Mikey, I fell in love with the school. We knew we were going to get a great competitor and an intelligent player, but uh, I, I couldn't have told you then the type of man that I was going to coach and, and the type of player that he's developed into has been quite special. Our relationship, you know, like any, any brothers was was up and down. We, we fought and we competed and battled against each other. Even to this day we're still <laughs> competing and battling. The week before it's like we don't even talk to each other. I'm sure he knows everything from, from film session and, and you know Coach Federaca does a great job of that I'm sure but I don't want to give him anything at all. <laughs> we actually got right on the 50-yard line, and uh, my wife was on one side of the 50-yard line, and I was on the other. I've got a lot of orange and blue, and I've got a lot of black and gold, but for that game, we'll be Rutgers prep fans. <laughs> it's cool shaking your brother's hand and hugging him on the line. I say I'm a Patriot League fan. We have so enjoyed being to all those campuses and seeing who those kids are. And there is something very similar about all of them. They are scholar athletes. That was very important to us that we knew our boys were going to a school where they would be known and they would be surrounded by kids who have similar priorities in terms of academics. From a young age, we, we've enjoyed being part of communities. We've been able to see so much of a benefit from putting all of ourselves into that community. So that was a great example for us to see our parents be role models of people that really dove into a community. And I think that's helped us at the colleges that we've been to to have that pride and to be able to, to dive in there.